Welcome to the next tutorial of Quick Surface. This tutorial is about uh, using effectively the loft command. <coughs> the loft command is located into the surfacing menu, but before we use it, I want to describe the uh, problem first. The data you see on the screen, uh, provided by Construct Point Technologies, which are our friends, and in this example, what we want to do is just create the surfaces here. The problem comes that it's actually not a draft extrusion because the slope is different on different areas, like here and here. So what we need to do in this case, I pre-created the two sketches, which I got from the bottom. I, if I double click, I'll see the section here, which defined my profile. And also, uh, I don't need this uh, extruded surface here. And also, I have another sketch at the top. I will double click to edit. I just turn off the automatic creation of surface. As you see here, the distances are different, which uh, shows the issue with the um, draft extrusion. So I created my two sketches, the bottom and the top. I actually created this slightly lower, and now we can use the loft command. I can just select surfacing, loft. I can click on the first sketch, because the selected chain is uh, selected, it will take the whole profile, and then I select the other sketch. As you can see, it creates the loft between the two profiles. This is good enough, and you can press OK and you can check your results. But the problem is that I actually want to make this longer and if I have a top plane, I want to intersect this. Also, another thing that we see that the loft result is actually multiple surfaces here. So that's why what we introduced in Quick Surfaces automatically extend the surface of loft when you actually create it. I can just right click on loft command and select edit. You can see here that we have an option to expand the open edges with a certain amount. In this case I will just play with 5 millimeters. You see that it naturally extends the loft. And in this case I will just extend it just slightly so I can actually get more uh, get it above the plane that I need. I don't need it anymore. Or in the case I want to go to get it lower, I can just press probably 15, and you see that it, the loft is extended. So with this single option, automatically you can create your um, loft surfaces much bigger, and that they are suitable for trimming. And to finish off my work here, I'll just take the plane. Using the control click, we'll select the two um, features, and then I'll select the trim command. I can click on the part that I don't need, and then press OK. So in this way, I can effectively use my trimming tool and continue with my reverse engineering process. Again, thank you for watching and thanks to ConstructPoint Technologies for the data provided.